Hi everyone, I am Dr. Anita, consultant microbiologist. Uh, today I am going to discuss about autoimmunity. So moving on to the lecture preview. Uh, in this lecture, we are going to see about introduction of autoimmunity and what is uh, immunological tolerance, what are the types of uh, immunological tolerance like a central tolerance, a peripheral tolerance and what is the mechanism of autoimmunity and uh, autoimmune diseases and classification of autoimmune diseases uh, like uh, systemic diseases and single organ type uh, diseases and uh, lab diagnosis of autoimmune diseases. So, all these points we are going to cover in this lecture. So, moving on to the introduction. So, definition of autoimmunity. It is a condition in which the body's own immunological competent cells or antibodies act against its self antigens that is immune response against the self antigens immunity against the self antigens resulting in structural or functional damage so this is autoimmunity paul ehrlich a german bacteriologist termed this condition as horror autotoxicus so any breach in a protective mechanism is called tolerance. I mean, protective mechanism is a tolerance, immunological tolerance. So, any breach in the protective mechanism that is immunological tolerance, it predisposes to autoimmune diseases. So, in a simple, autoimmunity is a nothing, nothing but is a condition, immunity against its self antigen. Okay. So, any breach in a protective mechanism that is immunological tolerance leads to autoimmune diseases. So, moving on to the immunological tolerance. So, it is a state in which an individual is incapable of developing an immune response against his own tissue antigens. Usually, we will not develop an immune response against our own antigens, own tissue antigen. So, this is called immunological tolerance. Okay. There are uh, two broad mechanisms in immunological tolerance uh, in developing tolerance that is central tolerance and peripheral tolerance. In central tolerance, here usually the T cells and B cells undergoes maturation in the central lymphoid organs and then in the peripheral tissues, okay. So, usually in thymus and bone marrow. So, in central tolerance, there occurs a deletion of self-reactive T and B lymphocytes during their maturation, during their maturation in central lymphoid organs, okay. The self-reactive T cells and B cells get automatically deleted during their maturation in central lymphoid organs. What are the central lymphoid organs? Thymus and bone marrow. But some self-reactive T cells and B cells escapes the central tolerance and it leaks into the peripheral tissues. There various backup mechanisms in peripheral tissues to counteract the self-reactive T cells. That is called peripheral tolerance. Okay. So, the certain self-reactive maximum self-reactive T cells and B cells uh, gets deleted in the central lymphoid organs during their maturation, but some may leak, leak into the peripheral tissues where uh, several mechanisms, several backup mechanisms are there to counteract the self-reactive T cells. That is called peripheral tolerance. So, here you can see that is a generation of immune repertoires. Okay. So here uh, it undergoes, it takes place in T cells and B cells. Maturation takes place in thymus and bone marrow. In, in central tolerance, what happens is self-reactive T cells and B cells gets deleted by apoptosis. That is by negative apoptosis by negative selection. Okay. But there occurs some leakage of self-reactive lymphocytes to the periphery, which is controlled by peripheral tolerance. But at times, the tolerance fails. That may be due to wrong environment or wrong genes. That results in autoimmune diseases, which should be treated with further treatment and other therapies. Okay. So, moving on to the central tolerance here, as I said, deletion of self-reactive T cells and B cells usually occurs in two places, that is in the thymus for T cells and in bone marrow for B cells, T for T, B for B. Thymus, here the self-antigens are processed and presented by thymic antigen presenting cells in association with self-MHC, major histocompatibility complex during development. Okay. So, developing T cells that express a receptor for self antigens is negatively selected, that is deleted by apoptosis. Okay. So, when the self antigens are taken up by the thymic APC and it is uh, presented, uh, the, those T cells which 
developing T cell that express a receptor for self antigens or deleted, deleted by apoptosis. And peripheral T cell pool is devoid of self reactive T cells or C, uh, B cells. So, this is a central T cell tolerance. You can see this is immature T cells. When uh, the self reactive T cells uh, antigens are taken up and it is processed by thymic uh, antigen presenting cells and it is presented, processed and presented along with the self MHC, it undergoes any of these things that is either non selection, positive selection, and negative selection. Positive selection that is survival of T cells. Okay. Non selection is cell death. There would not be any interaction between the T cell and the antigen presenting cells. Okay. So, cell death occurs and negative selection. There would be uh, interaction between these things, but uh, strong affinity will be there and it results in apoptosis that is negative selection cell death. So, in central tolerance, usually the self reacting T cells are deleted by apoptosis that is by negative selection. 